so it snowed in at the southern Oregon coast <laughs> and um, I'm on my way down to one of the beaches be to get some pictures because this is unique uh, I've been here quite a few winters and I've never seen this much snow it's slippery and uh, <laughs> kind of dangerous but whatever all I got is a camera and some lenses I can hear the ocean it sounds awesome I really hope the uh, the sea stacks have snow on them because that would look really really cool plus I was gonna stay home and edit another video but the power's out so uh, some of the trees with the snow came down and took out the power so I can't work on the computer Look at this, look at Secret Beach with snow. This looks incredible. The, the islands with a little bit of snow. High tide, big angry waves, this looks awesome. So I'm gonna hurry up and get some pictures because I don't want the snow to melt. Uh, I don't wanna be stuck in the rain too because I forgot my rain gear. So you can see the snow, there's not a lot of light. This first rock here has a little bit of snow. And this is definitely a classic shot. The clouds are angry, they look really cool. So I'm gonna set up here and get my first shot and then I'm gonna go get some other images. And the waves, they're just angry, they're incredible. This is, <laughs> I haven't been excited about photography like this for a long time. Oh, I hate doing things with gloves. It's like I got mittens or something, fire cooking things. With, uh. But I gotta put, this is my um, Polar Pro polarizer just to get some color in the water instead of the glare from the clouds. So I gotta, wow, this looks awesome. <laughs> Giant waves, it's angry, the tide is coming in. This is looking amazing. In the meantime, while I'm setting up, I'm gonna set my camera here uh, and just do a little bit of B-roll and some stock footage that I could upload to all the agencies and hopefully make a little extra cash. All right, I got my polarizer on and I'm gonna show you here with the camera how different and how, how you eliminate the glare from the, from the water. Wow, these waves look incredible. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away so I can function and get some pictures because that looks epic. The feeling of being down here is incredible in the snow. It just looks really, really pretty. Uh, let me line up the rocks here, maybe a little bit closer. I might be able to get another shot. It's gray, it's dark, but hopefully I can capture the scene here uh, with the angry waves and then a little bit of snow in the back. And Okay, it's starting to rain, all my stuff is getting wet and the ocean is not cooperating. <laughs> I got some great shots, but it might be time to go and move on to the next beach because uh, it looks like it's gonna start raining here pretty heavy. So this trail might look familiar. This is natural bridges and I hope there's still some snow on the rocks. It's starting to melt here off the trail. All right, I guess I'll just listen to them and not go. So it looks like I missed it. There's no more snow on the, on the rocks. So I'm just gonna go to the viewpoint and try to get a picture from there because I'm not gonna risk going down the slippery slope when there's no more snow on those rocks down there. The viewpoint should be fine.
the light wasn't great and to be honest I wasn't loving the composition so I decided to go home instead on the way home I noticed a unique opportunity for stock photography and by the way these images of weather and people dealing with weather they tend to sell quite a bit I also went to some more recognizable spots here in Gold Beach like the Mary D. Hume and the Rogue River Bridge, the Isaac Lee Patterson Bridge. <laughs> it's so cool to see this in snow. The next morning. got cold last night the sun is just coming up it looks really pretty and I'm gonna head to the beach to see how much ice and snow is over there get some pictures here So this is crazy because it never gets this cold uh, and to see the grass everything just completely frozen that means it got really really cold last night <laughs> there's light just now coming up and turtle rock looks awesome with a little bit of light on it so i'm gonna get a few handheld shots since it's clear daylight i don't think i need uh my tripod and the in, in body stabilizing and the camera handles perfectly and I think try to get some of the grasses but I think that looks beautiful I'm using turtle rock because it's a natural feature and then that'll give uh, the location as to where this frozen beach is I need to walk around in circles because I want to find the right composition. Whatever I don't like the best, it's going to be a stock photo. So it doesn't, that's why I take so many. I think here is one of the best shots up a little higher. 180th of a second, handheld F11, ISO 200. This looks amazing. Cape Sebastian has snow on it. <laughs> All right, I need to hurry up because the sun is climbing. It's gonna go behind this or up this mountain and change. And right now the light is perfect. All right, so the sun's out a little bit too far now. I flew the drone, I got some beautiful pictures, and I can't wait to get home. Uh, that's another good shot here. I can't wait to get home and uh, load the pictures and see how, how they turn out because it, it just looks incredible. The light, the fog, the snow on the beach here. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, again, what my favorite pictures, I'm probably gonna print or, or save for later. The other ones, I'm gonna go for stock photography. That's kind of how I do everything. That way I, I get on, on both ends. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.